Hi and welcome to How to Use CAD. Today's tutorial is focused on creating a detailed section for a sloping or pitched roof window. The aim of the tutorial is to show you the various components that make up the roof and how to insert a roof light or Velux window into a sloping or pitched roof. Hard to believe um, that this detailed section has taken me about two hours to do. Um, first off, you've got to do a little bit of research and then you've got to work out um, how you're going to lay it out and plan it out. And of course, you need to understand uh, the detail. You need to understand the various components. So uh, adding a pitched roof, uh, sorry, adding a, a, a roof window, uh, commonly they're, they're referred to as Velux windows, but generally on the, on the, on the slope, uh, they seem to have cornered the market, our Velux. Um, but a Velux window or similar. So to add a roof light to a sloping roof, uh, this, is what, this is what you're looking at. This is the kind of uh, diagram you'd be looking at or detailed section. So uh, let, let, let's start off by uh, having a look here at the battens. These would be general roof rafters spaced around 400, uh, 400 apart. Uh, the size are generally 100 by 50. So uh, in order to put a, a roof window uh, in, into this section, what you'd have to do say is in this case is to cut, cut a piece out here uh, and then add two, these are known as trimmers. So you would add two trimmers to the bottom and two to the top. And then uh, assuming the window is a particular width and you have a bit of space lower, you'd add a side trimmer just to fill up that gap, yeah? Or to put a side frame in for the window. Now, the idea of the trimmers is to support uh, this particular uh, rafter because uh, once you cut it then it loses its uh, strength so by adding a double you always double up on the trimmers here so put two trimmers which are these are nailed in generally on both sides here uh, and then straight up and these are nailed again so this way uh, this particular rafter regains its uh, strength and likewise at the bottom you do the same again two trimmers uh, so what's happening is the this trimmer and this particular one it, sorry this rafter and this one is taking the weight of uh, imposed on this particular rafter so in some cases building control will ask you to double up on this one which me effectively means your uh, effectively means that that can happen so let's just add one here no I've got snaps off which doesn't help and uh, they, they may also ask you to uh, double up on the other side sometimes it's necessary sometimes it's not so it's a matter of if it's a job well done then that's the way to do it you double up double up on the rafters and double up on the trimmers now that's really well done that's uh, and, and that's how you that's how you can cut the opening out uh, and you're ready for the installation now also what you got to remember is that uh, when it comes to the installation there may not be installation here so uh, attics can be insulated at the floor level or the ceiling level as it's known or it can be um, in, they can be insulated at roof level which means uh, within these uh, rafters, uh, Celotex or the equivalent uh, is placed within these rafters to get the insulation up. Uh, so it depends. If it's an empty attic and an empty space then uh, it generally it's uh, loose lay loft insulation on the ceilings but in most cases if the fact is if you're putting in a Velux window it means you're likely to be uh, turning this into habitable area which means you'll most certainly be adding Celotex to the actual uh, uh, rafters here to the roof so this is how it would look on a side profile so uh, first off uh, these are your trimmers and you've got your insulation there's a bit of airflow going on here um, you've got a DPC not DPC vapor barrier here 
and not always but in some cases then um, you may add an insulated uh, plasterboard uh, so it, again it's all about the quality of the, uh, the project so uh, it, mostly uh, people would just add on this this is plasterboard they would just add on the plasterboard here top of the vapor barrier right onto the rafters but if you're doing the job really well then uh, you would again beef up the insulation uh, put another 50 mil of insula insulated plasterboard that's um, I can see I've got a mistake here um, I shouldn't really put the uh, size on the plasterboard there uh, or if I do make sure it's uh, the size of the plasterboard plus the insulation so there you go um, okay uh, this is your window here so let's have a little look Sarking felt, well, that's uh, the felt that they lay, the roofers will lay over the uh, rafters on the outside. Then after that comes the roofing battens. And then after that the tiles or slate, whatever it is being finished. So on the, uh, <coughs> on the roof window, uh, they've got a flashing. This is known as the top apron. So that sits on those battens, come around, comes here. So rainwater that hits the tiles, hits the tiles again, uh, just hits that um, apron and then flows down the glass on the, on the, on the window. Uh, felt collar here, that's basically insulation below, uh, where between the window and the, uh, uh, the timber trimmers. Uh, so you've got your window, that can be whichever, whoever is, whoever or who, depends on uh, whatever window you want, whether it's Blue Looks or something similar. Uh, that, down the bottom, you got a pleated apron, apron flashing. So pleated means it's got like a, a pleated skirt and if these are tiles, there may well be grooves in them. So then you push the grooves uh, down, push the, the pleats down into the groove so that you get a really lovely fit. So uh, it depends on whether it's tile or slate that you're putting on. Tyler slate hanging here again roofing batten a uh, little bit of airflow here that's your about a hundred mil of uh, insulation your plasterboard uh, pl insulated plasterboard I should say and again take it around so I've exploded everything here so there's a bit of a gap so rather than it's a gap between the elements so rather than compressing it all together you don't really know what's what this is what we've got. Uh, so insulated plasterboard, Celotex insulation, timber trimmers, and these are additional notes about the glass and the energy rating and so on. So again, uh, <coughs> it's, it's important to get the uh, structural element correct. Uh, and then, because if you, if you make a mistake on this or get it wrong, then uh, you're in serious trouble. Now, uh, so that so that's generally and again there'll be little variations on that uh, but that's generally um, a decent detail section for a pitch roof window uh, now when it comes to making them you know, well, well as I said it took a couple of hours to get to put this together simply because you've got to make the component parts before you can make them you've got to understand uh, what the component parts are and what component parts are needed so as you can see here, we've got the plasterboard uh, and then you've got the insulated plasterboard. So that's all one unit and uh, you've, got to, you, you've got to build that and then you've got to build your Celotex, get your arrows going. Uh, again, uh, uh, the, the, the felt or membrane, uh, waterproof basically, your battens, your tiles. Again, more insulation here uh, under the apron. So they, again, that's to do with the manufacturers because when they when they put in that component part, they usually it's insulated metal. Uh, so you just make sure you join up the insulation all the way around here. Um, okay, there's nothing much I can tell you here, and there's no point in taking it apart. What I would say is, if you want to have a go, oh, incidentally, what makes this really hard is the fact that it's at an angle. To demonstrate it it's at an angle so I did in fact build this um, vertical and then I uh, I tilted it 
uh, rather than be building everything at an angle. So uh, that, that, that's what I did and uh, you may well do the same. Um, what I would say is, what I was, what I was going to say was, uh, you can <coughs> start from scratch by examining the components and creating them using your CAD program and by all means uh, that's a great way of learning but you'll put a lot of time into it. What you can do of course is you can pick up um, the details section from our website at details section and then you're going to get it in uh, CAD format uh, and th that would give you a great start uh, in other words you buy the detail section down here and uh, then when you get your your CAD when you when you get your, your CAD uh, detail section then you can uh, explode it and move it around a little and add it to your library so uh, it's a question as to whether you want to build or, an, or start from scratch but uh, like I say you've got the option now as I've told you before or in many of the tutorials I've mentioned it we are currently um, putting together about a 1000 detail sections and adding them to our website at detailsections.co.uk Now the cupboards are pretty bare there but we'll be adding uh, gradually so if you want to pick up detail sections for any of these uh, uh, projects uh, just go down there and have a look at what what we've got and as I say we'll be adding to it routinely um, what I normally do when I'm creating is uh, I take out a couple of CAD files I take out a couple of CAD sections and then I borrow little bits and pieces from one to the other in the, rather than having to recreate all the time it makes sense to just copy and paste and uh, uh, amend or adjust as, as we need to. Uh, so that's about as much as I can tell you on this one. Uh, rather, And this one, as I say, normally you end up doing quite a bit of work with me, uh, which means you get to use your, uh, your CAD tools. And uh, on this particular one, it's, it's not. It's more of a demonstration uh, and education as to what goes into the section for a pitch roof window. Um, okay, hopefully you've learned um, uh, quite a bit here and you'll be able to make up your own designs for pitch roof windows. Um, I guess uh, see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching.